Hi, welcome back. So today what I'm going to show you is how to upload a file to your portfolio uh, based on work that you've done in CoCalc. So what you can see here is my GitHub portfolio, but I'm going to switch now to CoCalc. And what I've done is created a folder on CoCalc using the new button there, uh, which allows you to create a folder. Uh, I called it Portfolio Work. And what I've done is created a notebook file. And again, press New, and you can select a Jupyter Notebook file. I've created one already based on some work that I've done outside the context of this class, um, just for some work I want to show off. Uh, we'll get to this later in the course, probably. Anyway, um, what I don't want you to do is upload like an ensi entire assignment to your portfolio. Uh, both because that's a lot of code and a lot of stuff there and your portfolio should be short and punchy and show off kind of your best work in a way that people can look at it and get a sense of what you've done without scrolling through a massive uh, lot of code. Um, maybe later on you want to show some, some longer code as well, but for now we're going to focus on, on short bits. And as well, obviously, I don't want you posting answers to course assignments uh, on a public website. All right, so you can see an example there. With any notebook file on CoCalc and in uh, Jupyter, you can export it either as a notebook file or as a markdown file. Uh, so it'll convert this to a markdown format. And that displays really nicely in GitHub pages, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So in CoCalc, we go to the File menu, and you can see you've got Download As and a variety of options. We're going to select Markdown. All right. So it'll take a minute, it's running this conversion script, and in a moment we'll get the option, there we go, to click on the file name, .md. You see it here. Now it hasn't actually downloaded it, it's just loaded the file in a new browser window. So we're going to go to the file menu in the browser and select Save Page As. And it saves it as a markdown document, so that's cool. All right, so that's now in my downloads folder. So now I'm going to jump over to my GitHub portfolio. And here I can add a file just by clicking on the Add File button. And it gives me the option to upload files. Awesome. So now we're going to grab that file from the downloads folder and drag and drop it into GitHub. So here we go, markdown file, drag and drop. And it's a commit, so added eg demo file. Commit changes. And now you can see that's in my list. All right, so the next thing we want to do is add a link to that in the readme.md file that shows up as your GitHub pages portfolio on the website version, as opposed to just this GitHub version. So we'll click on the little pencil icon for the readme file. And I'm going to hit enter, add a couple of lines, and say, here's an example some code I wrote for EEG analysis. I'm going to make that in square brackets, so that'll show up as the link text in the web page. Follow that by round brackets, parentheses, and then the name of the file. Underscore averages.md. Boom. Commit that with my commit message added link to eg example. Scroll down, hit commit changes. Awesome. So you can see that there in the README file. I'm just going to go back to my main repo page. Now I'm going to switch tabs to the tab where I have the GitHub Pages web version of my portfolio open. Now you can see this is still the old version, but if I hit reload, nothing happens. And that's because it actually takes GitHub a little while for changes that you made in the repo side to apply to the website side. So that could take, in my experience, like one or two minutes. That was enough time. That wasn't even one minute. And now you see the link there. And when I click on that link, some code I wrote, and you can see what's cool here is it's rendered uh, the markdown in HTML as a nice looking web uh, page. So the markdown part of my uh, original notebook file shows up as nice text, and the code cell in my original notebook file shows up looking like code, 
which is exactly what we want. Now it's truncated a bit over on the right side, uh, but that's scrollable. So that's really it. That's how you take something from a Jupyter Notebook file on CoCalc, convert it to Markdown, and then upload it to GitHub and make it part of your portfolio on GitHub Pages. Thanks for watching.